Distilled by Paverson Games, a game where you are making different types of alcohol by grabbing cards from a market. A good game. Can it be more complex? Indeed it can, with the addition of Distilled Cask Strength, an expansion brought to us by Paverson Games, and I will tell you what I think about it after the intro. Distilled Cask Strength. What does this expansion add? Well, it adds four things. One, it adds in some new distillery upgrades. One of them being a cask seller, where you basically can sell your aged spirit right when you make it instead of having to wait. However, it does take the barrel with you. And a few other distillery upgrades. It adds some new flavor cards to where when you have your flavors added to your aged spirit, if this is one of them, you can replace one of the other flavors with the top one from the deck. So if that one gives you zero or only one coin, you can push your luck and try and get another coin or a higher coin flavor. But the two biggest changes it makes, one is upgraded premium ingredient cards. They replace all the basic premium or the premium sugars, the fruit, the plant, and the grain ones with new ones that all of them have different special powers, whether it be giving you coins or extra points or whatnot. I'll be kind of scrolling them around up through here so you can kind of see what those are. And the other thing it adds is a dynamic market, which changes every round starting in the second round. And then certain things are going to cost a dollar more or a dollar less. And also certain regions are going to give you more money if you sell an alcohol from that region. So that is what it does. What are my thoughts? So first, let me tell you, base distilled, I enjoy. It's a theme I really like. I do like to imbibe in alcoholic drinks here and there. So the theme, and it is very thematic. In the rule book, it tells you, you know, why are you doing the top and the bottom? All the basic market where you can only take two of from, it's because brewers normally have this co-op where they'll exchange stuff. So it's really, you can tell research was done and the theme is really implemented well into the game and it just I enjoy the way it plays and then the mixing of the cards the very tactile feel of moving everything around and all the pieces are really great so that is my thoughts on distilled does this make it better I would say yes if you want more complexity if you feel distilled is at at the most it's, it's you don't want to get any more complex stick with that one this one does add more thought and more planning to what you need to do. How so? Well, at the beginning, your income is going to be a little bit tighter because as I said, they've upgraded all those sugars. Well, they all cost one coin more now. So it might take you a little bit longer to get those extra sugars. But once you do, your points are going to go up quicker. Your money's going to go up quicker because a lot of them will give you more coins when you sell, when you stack with something else. Then you have that dynamic market, which is going to be adding more coins to stuff you're selling and also possibly reducing one coin. So that thing that normally cost four in the base one got pushed up to five on all the dynamic market brings it back down to four. Cool. So now it's the same. So it, it can help you there with that. Again, though, that does add that complexity of trying to manage your money better and figuring out exactly what ingredients you want to put in. Given how each sugar does do that separate different thing, I will say that it does kind of slow down the selling a little bit before you can easily just go, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six coins, one, two, three, four, five points. Cool. But now you got to look at the sugars, kind of maybe set them aside. All right, this one's going to give you so many coins for having extra ones of these sugars. And you got to go back and kind of look at that. So it does kind of slow down the selling process a little bit. Didn't really become an issue with us, but if you're one who you already thought that might have been slow, it will kind of slow it down some more, just giving you a heads up on that. Um, the dynamic market. This is where I'm talking about how your plans could change and how you had that extra complexity. Because, say, this turn, fruit sugars are going to cost more. Well, if you're going to try and make that Pisco, hopefully you don't need the fruit sugars or you have enough money to cover that increased cost or... You'll be able to see that around of heads, so maybe you'll buy your fruit sugars so you're ready to go for the next turn. With that dynamic market, though, sometimes it can bite your plans big if, say, fruit sugars are more expensive, like two or three turns in a row. 
So then maybe you might be really pushing off having to make that Pisco till the end because maybe you really need that fruit sugar alcohol. So that one does kind of, could kind of get you. And that's why, in my opinion, it adds the strategy, but it also kind of adds a little bit more of a luck element based on what market cards come up, could really mess you up or might not hurt you at all. So your opponent's just constantly getting the benefit of it and you're constantly getting hurt. So there's that, that little bit of extra luck that got put in there. But you can't you can strategize around it. It just may not be the strategy you want it to do. So that's that strategy level of possibly having to divert yourself. Like, well, I really want to go this way. The game's kind of pushing me this way. All right, how can I make this work with what I'm doing here? So, but all in all, I'd say we did enjoy it. Um, it did like I said, kind of slow down that first play, having to remember to look at the dynamic market because you're not used to that with doing everything else. But once you get into the flow of that by like your second or third game, it'll seem second nature. So overall, we enjoyed it. It will add that complexity if you're looking for a slightly more complex game. He said it basically takes it from a 3 to like a 3.25, and I would agree with that. It doesn't change the game dramatically. It's not like you have to learn a whole new set of rules. It's literally just pushing an extra card over at the start of every round and reading some more cards with the sugars. So that is kind of the expansion that we enjoy, one that doesn't drastically change the game. We're like, all right, now I got to read this whole other rule book and now I'll read this rule book so I know everything that's going on. I mean, it literally came in a small box with the same with the playing card size rules front and back three cards and it explained basically Dynamic market, flavor market, this, this, done. So again, that was my thoughts on Distilled Cast Strength. If you want to see it in action, I did do a solo play. I will have linked that at the beginning of the video. And at this point, if I could ask you to please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and ring the bell for this channel. Possibly also look down below where I'll have a link to where you can pre-order this or possibly order it, depending on when you're watching this. But links also to our Patreon and you can also find our podcast wherever podcasts are available. So I am the groom saying we will give this uh, almost essential.